What's up, guys? It's your one of choice, the Omniblade here. Haven't used that intro in fucking eternity, holy shit. But yeah, I am here to try to do my best Arvis impression right now and make these fools, well, most, well, the other two fools, the guy in the middle is pretty alright, but to make the other two fools look worse than part one endgame, part one finale, whatever you want to call it, of genealogy in this bitch, alright? Gotta get the hands ready to roast these fools because it's IGN, it's Fire Emblem. We're in for good times all around. I have a cup here of cranberry juice. It's like cranberry cherry juice, which may or may not be mixed with alcohol. You can prove nothing, comments. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna need it to get through three minutes of IGN talking about Fire Emblem. We are in for a delight. I almost feel like if this does well, I should react to the reviews of the other. Well, that, would you guys be interested in seeing that? Seeing me react to the IGN reviews of... The Fire Emblem titles, at least on 3DS. I don't know if they've done things in the past with like Shadow Dragon or whatnot. Probably not, but whatever. Well, but games uh, coming part. in the spring that don't have... Uh... Also, Fire Emblem Three Houses coming in the spring. Fuck no. I am willing to bet money that game is getting delayed to the summer, at least. We have seen nothing. It has been MIA since E3. And even there, we had minimal to work off of. Like, we need another second big trailer before we get an actual date. Which, unless they pull the Echoes, which worked... It, it was a solid game, but, like, I doubt this is going to be like an Echoes where they just turn that bitch around instantly. Set release dates. Okay. Um, so the first of that, of those games, is, of course, Fire Emblem Three Heroes, um, which I know you're very excited <laughs> about. <laughs> Fire. Wow, what the fuck? I just... Let, let's go back to that one a bit. Like, let's, how long? Fire Emblem Three Heroes. Not even! Ten seconds into the video. Cause it starts at cause it starts at like three seconds really because the intro is like we're Mario because we're gamers ha 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 but like not even ten seconds into the video and you fuck up the name of the game you're talking about are you kidding me ten not even ten seconds did you last you did not last ten seconds I am as disappointed as your ex right now all right holy fuck can't even get the name right. All right, just for that, first off, I'm going to take a little sip of my mug here. Mm. Shit, I almost spilled some out. Oh, maybe that does prove there's something in here. <laughs> but, yeah, no. Every time IGN fucks up, an Effie waifu dies. All right? So whoever I put on screen right now, that is on your hands, Zack Ryan. You, you, you dumb shit. Killed. Insert Effie waifu name here, all right? Hard to know. Tharja! No! Tharja! Oh my god, no! All these waifu deaths are on your hands, IGN. And what do you gotta say to that? Um, which I know you're very excited about. Five. You're gonna oh, get you, out of the gate, you're gonna give five. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck this rating thing is. Five. Five out of five shaved heads. Five out of yeah, five Altanos. Sure. Five okay. out of five mates. Cool. So there we uh, go. Pedigree. Tell me, so this is the first. Fire Emblem, uh, first console Fire Emblem. Wait. Uh, in 12 years? Jeez. Okay, he is right, because I had this thing from when I... Let me just say this. I like had a recording beforehand where I did talk for like 22 minutes. It's probably still going to be over 10 minutes long because <laughs> January ad revenue be tight, my guys. But, uh, yeah, no. So they get the fact that, yeah, Radiant Dawn came out in 2007, in America at least, 12 years ago. But they can't get the name of the game they're talking about right. Just quality work, IGN. Quality fucking work. I'm gonna take another sip anyways. Jesus, since uh, the Wii, huh? Since, yeah, uh, what was it? Radiant Dawn Radiant on Dawn. Wii. Yeah. You got the um, name of that one. <laughs> Gets the name of the old game right, but not the one that's coming up soon. That is way more knowledgeable given Effie's history now. And this one, uh, I think the big the big draw here is the ability to transition from this top-down view to sort of a, like a third-person uh, on-the-battlefield view like mm -hmm. we're seeing. It's not really, like, the big thing with it. Also, hi, Byleth. It's not really the big thing we have here. That's just the presentation style. Here, which yeah, you, really you no longer get a, a switch in presentation. It, like, zooms you into the action. And then the, the other big thing is that... I know it would not make sense to do it on the Switch. But I, I don't know. I, I think it's just because I love the sprites we get in the GBA and 3DS games. Just those sprites are so clean. So nice, and I, I just love seeing them on that grid-based combat. It just, it's so nostalgically pretty to me. I don't know, because I remember growing up with sprite-based stuff when I was a wee lad. 
I mean, I grew up with the DS and uh, Wii mostly, but uh, I remember when I played GameCube and Game Boy. GameCube, like, who remembers Mario and Luigi? The original one. That was a solid game. I remember the sprites. I love the sprites. I always love how Fire Emblem had the sprites in them, but eh, you, you, you gotta grow. Consoles have the models. For the That's first it time, is. it will feel... What did any of that have to do with IGN? Fucking nothing. I just felt like saying it. More like a like an actual war because you have... Okay. Another one dead. <laughs> Feels like an actual war. If only I'd been there. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Wish I could have done more. Ha ha ha! Effie has not felt like an actual war <laughs> ever since Awakening hit the shelves. Let me tell you something, folks. Last time we had a genuine war, that was Radiant Dawn, and we don't, we don't talk about that war. But yeah, like, I mean, genealogy feels like more of a war, and I haven't even played that game, but just from, like, what I've seen and heard, and all the shit that goes down in it, yeah, that's a war. Awakening is not a war. That is light novel adaptation come to life. It's not that bad. Part Okay, part one, Awakening. Like, the whole Gangrel part, act one, was solid. Act 2 was filler, Act 3, we don't talk about Act 3, and then Fates was, ugh. Even Echoes wasn't really that much of a war, because it's literally just a group of teenagers. But we love them, we love them, but it's like, yeah, they're leading the whole army, but you don't see the whole army, usually it's just these little guys going up against the commanders. It's Fire Emblem, it's classic Fire Emblem. You, have, you see all the support units that fight alongside your hero. Okay, so that's there. a big change. Usually it's one-on-one -on -one battles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh... Are you gonna play this? this? Is... I don't play This. This is what gets me. This is why I'm just like, what happens next is just gonna blow your mind from IGN's incompetence. It, oh, I it's don't know. So good. I, I'm actually. Fire Emblem is so good. I lies. That's how you know he's not a Fire Emblem fan. No one hates Fire Emblem more than Fire Emblem fans. <laughs> Another waifu did. No, no, no. Don't kill the waifu. We spare the waifu that time. I know that I should. I so I played. What was um? Fire Comments, viewers. Brace yourselves right now. Brace yourselves right now, okay? Prepare yourselves. Emblem Heroes on the 3DS? No. <sighs> Astrid! What? Just, let's play that back again, people. Let's just... Let's just... Go back, like, a few seconds. I know that I should... I So I played... What was, um... Fire Emblem Heroes on the 3DS? No. Was it he Heroes? Was that the first one the on the 3DS? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Fire Emblem Heroes for the 3DS, my guy, was the first game for Fire Emblem on 3DS. Motherfucker. I'm taking off my glasses. <sighs> So that that's gotta be a that's a double elimination right there. That's two waifus dead on your hands, girl. How could you Fire Emblem Heroes on 3DS? Fire Emblem Heroes was the first 3DS game. And this is rich from what they say later on. This is rich from what they'll say later. Yes. No, wait, not no, the last wait. one. The last one was Fates, right? Yes, the last one was Fates. Yeah. Yeah. With Corin. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. There was nothing I could do. Corrin from Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS. The one with Corrin. That was the last Fire Emblem game, right? Fucking hell, this girl's on a rampage. That's a triple kill of waifus right there. Holy f- I mean, how much of this cup am I drinking right now? Mm, a bit much for me. Right. So, yeah, the first one on 3DS was <laughs> Heroes. No. Yes. Oh, or is that the mobile game? No, Heroes no, is the Heroes mobile, is the game. mobile game. I love how this guy was just sitting there the whole time. He knew. He fucking knew. And was just like, oh my goodness, these fucking idiots. Why am I here with them? Which is the question I'm asking. Because get a load of what happens later. Okay. It was Awakenings. Fire Emblem Yeah. Awakenings. Sorry. Guys. We're, we're a weekly Nintendo show right here on IGN.com. Uh, There's a lot of Fire Emblem games, guys. On There's 15 of them, yes. There are only three... On the DS, five if you want to count Fates as three. But even still, it's just Fates, so no. And you didn't even say one of those was the first one. You chose the fucking mobile game! On vacation for two weeks, give us a break, we're still getting- No! No, you do not get a fucking break! This is your fucking job, you asshat! If you can't even get- You are paid to talk and know about this shit. 
and you still can't do it right. Yet meanwhile, college dumbass here whose channel has infinitely less than yours, not infinitely, but you get my point, and I can get this shit right off the top of my head. All right? Like, come on. Oh, give us a break, guys. It's been two weeks on vacation, bitch. I was on weeks vacation, and I still made a video, and I can at least tell you that I could take 10 seconds to do a fucking Google search to say what was the first Fire Emblem on 334DS, all right? And then just, bam, hit Wikipedia, and then I can see, ha pa 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 it's Awakening, look at that. Well, you can't see it because it's not on the thing, but whatever. So no, you don't get a fucking break, you, I don't know how much you make dipshit. Getting back in the swing of things. Yes, I played Fire Emblem Awakenings and liked, liked it, but Fire Did you? No, you didn't, because watch. Fire Emblem to me is sort of like Monster Hunter, where every time I try to play one, I get a certain amount in, and I'm like, okay, I've had enough of this. Like, I'm. Okay. This is why. Here's why I can elaborate here, because I'm the same way with Monster Hunter. I like Monster Hunter, but I never finish them because I'm trash at it. I'm so horrible at Monster Hunter games. Like, I'm. J I'm RPGs are where I thrive. Everything else, I'm shit. Like, the amount of times I've died in Spider-Man, holy crap. Like, I understand I am bad at non-RPG-based video games. Although I'm okay with, like, Nintendo Party games like Mario Kart and Smash. But regardless, like, fighting games and, like, combat stuff like that, I'm terrible at it. Traditional fighting games, like, Soul Calibur, I'd be dick. So when he says, yeah, I get a certain way through Monster Hunter, and then I just quit, it means he sucks at them and is not good enough to get through it, which means with Fire Emblem... Even though he's playing on casual mode, 100% this guy plays casual mode. Bet my fucking life savings on that. He plays casual mode, and he's like, um, yeah, casual mode's like too hard for me though, so I don't want to keep playing it, because I'm just like, uh, it's just like, bitch. Like, yeah, sure, drop, drop Fire Emblem Awakening partway. He's like, I like, okay, let's just go back to what he says. Every time I try to play one, I get a certain, Fire Emblem to me is sort of like Monster Hunter. Back in the swing of things. Yes, I played Fire Emblem Awakenings and liked, liked it, but... Liked, he said, I played Fire Emblem Awakening, liked it, okay? Quote, keep that in your head. Fire Emblem to me is sort of like Monster Hunter, where every time I try to play one, I get a certain amount in, and I'm like, okay, I've had enough of this. Like, I'm not... Really? I'm not a real-time strategy guy to begin... Yeah, I'm not into real-time strategy either. Fire Emblem's not a real-time strategy game. Another, another waifu dead. <laughs> Another, another sip at the fucking table that I kind of want to at this rate. Fuck! With, um, or a turn-based strategy guy. Um. Okay, yes, turn-based strategy. But Fire Emblem's not RTS, so why'd you mention that, you idiot? Because it had strategy in the name? That's exactly why. And, I don't know, I just, so, I'm not super into Fire Emblem, I would probably... I liked Fire Emblem Awakening, but I'm not super into Fire Emblem. Which fucking one is it? What, and this is the thing that blows my mind. Why, IGN, did you have this guy, who doesn't like Fire Emblem, to talk about Fire Emblem? I'm not super into Fire Emblem, I would probably give this, and I'm sorry, two out of five. Oh, that's insane, man. It's a very low two number out of five for this. Baldies. What makes these games, in, in... This guy actually like knows what he's talking about a little bit, so he's an actual fan of the series, which is why he's great. Although he, he's, he's going to give like the, how do I get casual into this game spiel right now? Certainly in recent times, there were always kind of assists and you know, effects that would, that, where you could build character relationships. He's talking about like how pair up and like how that'll give you more tangible buffs than in the previous games. Because with Awakening onwards, you just get straight stat buffs when you do supports and pair up and whatnot. Because uh, I don't know about FE12 and how supports worked in that game. FE11 just didn't have support, so it was just bleh. But then FE10 and 9, and like pretty much GBA and Tellius, they had the supports, but they were not really tangible benefits. Like, you didn't see the benefits from supports. They were always passive. Because you'd get like hit rate buffs from one thing. You get, you get like sometimes attack and defense bonuses, like Fire Affinity, which could give you the attack bonus, and then Thunder. Yeah, Thunder Affinity would give you the defense stuff. But then other stuff would be like less tangible. So I get what he's saying here. It's just like. Chips that would impact your battles, but they really amped up the storytelling. <laughs> no, 
Another waifu dead amped up the storytelling my ass! Like I said, or maybe I didn't say this in this recording, I don't know. Act 1 of Awakening, fine. 2 and 3, hell no. Fates, blah. Echoes is the best story of any Fire Emblem, in my opinion. Like, when you pair up characters, you... Not that they know- well, this guy knows Echoes exist. The, this one's just like, what the hell is a heroes? You, you know, they, they actually bond, they can get married. Yeah. In, you know, previous games, they could have kids and they could, could travel back in time. <laughs> like, Well, that's just Awakening, but whatever. Like, there were all these really cool elements around how you play the game and what, what characters you pair up. Right. Which you're looking at me like you're, you're not, you're not gonna- No, you started talking about time traveling kids. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Fair, but like, uh, Awakening actually handled it well for time travel, in my opinion. Like, time travel, the only way to do time travel right is have to, if, 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 blah, 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 blah. maybe I had a few too many sips of this cup. <laughs> the only way to do time travel properly is if there's no time travel in the story at the end of the day, which Awakening does not do, so therefore there's always some fuck up, but Multiverse Theory's a bitch. Hell, DBZ, we still love it, we love you, Trunks, but like, they did it twice too, that's how much they we loved him. But, yeah, no. And mine kind of went elsewhere, but yes. Fair. It's so good. Yeah. Yes, time travel kids. Good story. No. Although the kids were nice. I did like the personalities. Oh, man. I'm going to I'm gonna have to convert you. I'm going to make him play it. Five out of five Altanas. Five out of That's how you know this guy's a final fan. Got to convert my friends like I've done. Casey, how many Altanas are you? Four out of five Altanas. Four out of five. That's your highest rating. It is. So are you, you're a big Fire Emblem fan. You're a big Fire Emblem fan, right? To give something a four out of five, right? I'm not a big Fire Emblem fan. Really? Really miss Fire Emblem Heroes for 3DS. I feel like the only one I've played is Awakening mm -hmm. and Heroes. Okay. And I... Well, IGN, why did you have two people who've only played Awakening talk about the next Fire Emblem game? They didn't even play Fates. And that's literally the biggest FE. Who's Fates. And they didn't even play Fates. <laughs> Son of a bitch, IGN, you are a multi-million dollar company, yet you can't hire two, two other schmucks that like FE, which is not a hard thing to do, considering how big it's gotten in recent years, to talk about FE. Motherfucker, this video's long as hell still, it's just because IGN... I Heroes is very different. Heroes. Heroes, Heroes, Heroes is, is the one on the phone. It's a mobile game. I did wiki stuff for it, yeah. Yeah. but I did like it. Did she say wiki or weekly? Whatever. It, and right, I like you were into that. Heroes? No. Oh. <laughs> this yeah, guy's like fine. mobile game? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much the end of the video. Just. Also, I love this. I did not even even know this before. Big Nintendo Switch 2019 preview puts fucking Corrin in the thumbnail. <laughs> oh. Took a big ass chug of my juice there. Yeah. And this, this, and this ratio. This ratio is perfect. Fucking one out of three FE fans support... Nah, it's not, no, no, no. D not, 10 out of 10 FE fans dislike this video. One out of three people that were bothered to look at this thing liked it. Which is two out of three hate you people. Fair enough. Yeah. Chaz Ario, th he's who I... I don't know if I mentioned him before. Everything's a blur. Man, I really just juice. Chaz Ario, LLC. His reaction, much shorter than mine. Because he doesn't say as much shit as me. Because I love to ramble... But, like, yeah, the comments, I think, say everything for me. IGN, please stop embarrassing yourself. No need for y'all to repose this ball of misinformation and confusion into the world. And Louise, think Effie Person 2, I don't know everyone. Fire Emblem Heroes, was that the first one on 3DS? Yeah, with Corrin. <laughs> you didn't even play Fates! Two of you didn't even play Fates! Oh! Yeah, 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 go. <laughs> oh, lucky crit. Oh, Stevie. Yeah. So it sounds about right. Mangs, this was worse than 2018 YouTube Rewind. Okay, Mangs. That's blasphemy. Also, your icon's back from Perry. That is blasphemy, my good sir, because we don't talk about YouTube Rewind 2018. I need mock ass Brownlee and Fortnite. And just, yeah, like, I think you guys get the point here. Just, IGN, you are a multi million dollar company about game journalism. The air quotes were going up as I did that. I'm still doing them right now for whatever reason. Regardless, IGN cannot be fucked to get three people that have just the most, most basic fundamental understanding of the series to talk about the series. Why'd I go on for 
almost 20 minutes at this point. Because IGN, you deserve to get the hands for that long, all right? If you watch the whole video, uh, comment your favorite IGN Fire Emblem review. <laughs> ah, let's make the comments a shitstorm. I don't really care what happens. Thank you all so much for watching. I can't believe I rambled on for so long. Just maybe if you guys like this, maybe I'll do more, but I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll react to all the IGN FE reviews if you guys are into that. If this does well and you guys are into it. I don't know. I, how many times do I have to repeat myself? Damn, I gotta finish my juice and then go. Mm. Alright, peace. It's not even noon yet.